There's a lot of bad advice out there targeted at beginners who don't know any better. So I wanted to set the record straight and talk about the three stages of learning to code that I believe everyone needs to go through to be a successful programmer. And why skipping any of these stages will lead to failure. The three stages are learning the tools, learning to assemble, and learning to build. And the reason these stages are so important is because each stage is the foundation for the next one. Small cracks in one certainly will lead to larger cracks than the others, which will ultimately get in the way of us becoming good developers. It's true, if our goal is to solve complex software problems, we need to first be able to identify all the little parts that make up that problem, which is why this is the most important stage. Because at this stage, your goal is just to learn about programming. That means learning basic syntax, learn conditionals about classes and objects, and how to even run your code in your IDE. It is so fundamental to have a strong understanding of these concepts before you try to build larger projects, because without it, you're not gonna be understanding what you're actually writing. You're just gonna be copying code from a tutorial. That's why at this stage, I recommend instructed learning, and I'll post some of my favorite resources down in the description. Stage two is learning to assemble. This stage is all about taking that fundamental programming knowledge and making something out of it. At this point, the goal is to assemble something together with the programming knowledge that you had just learned into something that solves some sort of problem or something that you wanna put out into the world. People often get stuck in this stage because the first stage is too basic for them, but they don't know what to create. So my recommendation is to just create something small and then add on to it. A perfect example is just create a calculator. It could be the most basic thing, two fields that you could add together and then add on to it in small incremental changes. For example, make it look nice. Make it so that when you input a certain code, it'll make a request to some weather API, get the temperature of Miami, Tennessee, and then rotate the page, the amount of degrees of that horrible place. The point is to start small and then keep on adding to it. Try to add on things that you don't know how to add. The purpose of those small incremental changes is hopefully that limits the scope of the problem that you're trying to solve and then you solve it. And I think the ultimate test to know if you're ready for the next stage is to build something start to finish and then deploy it. Understanding the full software development life cycle of a product is such a valuable skill to know how to do that once you get that down, you're ready for the next stage. And the third and final stage is learning to build. And congratulations, this is a never ending stage. This is your life now. This stage is all about learning how to build software, utilizing good design choices and understanding software architecture behind those design choices. And at this stage, you'll often find yourself asking, how should I do this rather than how do I do this? Remember, the reason why these stages are so important is without the fundamental knowledge of each one, it'll be incredibly difficult to thrive in the next. But I did forget to mention the fourth stage, which is where you subscribe to this channel and let me know if you disagree with anything I've said in the video. Okay, bye. Bye.